What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing a brand new album by Metallic Hardcore Five Piece, Harm's Way. So five dudes from Chicago make a hell of a lot of noise. I would say probably the most immediate thing about the record is how aggressive it is. Like this is serious, unbridled aggression. From the moment that the riff in human carrying capacity kicks off the record, you're just like, this is just like. So the riffs may, may be kind of pretty heavy, but they are also very simplistic, which I think is one of the genius elements behind Harm's Way and why I think this record kind of like dug its, its claws in so much. And there's also a hell of a lot of simplistic riffing, but it's really kind of well put together, which you can hear right here. The band also kind of try and incorporate various different experimental elements in there. So they've got kind of this sort of industrial sound, similar to how kind of Code Orange played it um, on Temptation, which is kind of a, a track which it builds and builds and builds until it creates this kind of like climactic section at the end where it all kind of just expels the energy. And again, building on this sort of idea, um, you can hear Call My Name where the band kind of like slowly build up a riff f from kind of nothing. They bring in the drums, bass, guitar, and then the whole thing kind of comes together. And when it comes together, it, it has that sort of impact, especially with the kind of distortion that they've chosen, and it will just literally knock you for six. But that's not to say that the band haven't got their kind of their own idea of breakdowns because there are some seriously heavy breakdowns on this record, just like this one. Oh. And I also think that it's worth mentioning that um, there's a really cool song called Unreality, which has this kind of like uno, dos, tres, cuatro, and it would it would be perfect in Sepultura's catalogue, but it sort of worked. But the main thing is that Harm's Way kind of know, uh, know their own kind of accuracy in their technicality. For example, in both Become a Machine and Dissect Me, there's kind of like, they nail those kind of riffs. And especially when you've got kind of, they're almost like spheres of madness decapitated style, if you see what I mean. I'll, I'll show you here. In terms of negatives, there aren't really a huge amount of things. The only thing I would have really kind of said is maybe the track, uh, The Gift, which is kind of like an electronic break. I thought maybe you could have done without? I don't know, maybe people might enjoy the kind of respite between the aggression and then that. But I kind of just thought it sort of dwindled a bit and kind of killed the pace of the album. Looking at the artwork, it's actually the first thing that drew me into the album. I loved the idea of this kind of like hole in the face and it's kind of this dystopian reality. Um, and I also like the fact that there's a lot of colour but at the same time it looks really drab and horrible. It's like a busy minimalist if that makes sense and I think that's representative of the songs and how they've written everything on the album. So in conclusion, this is a record that you're not going to just sit around and listen to. This is a get up and pit and throw your friends around the room kind of record. There's loads of energy here and there's really interesting use of dissonant riffs which I thought was really cool. And the more I've listened to this record, the more I've come to love it, to be fair. The vocalist sounds like Ollie from Johnny Truant, which is always a good thing. Mind you, I wouldn't really kind of say it was a bad thing. Have you seen the size of him? If you wanted to check the record out, I'd recommend the tracks Human Carrying Capacity, Dissect Me, Become a Machine, and Sync. So that's why I'm going to give the record a 4 out of 5. Harm's Way's brand new album, Post Human, is out now via Metal Blade Records. I hope that you liked this video, please let me know what, what you thought, um, and then hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.